Hello everyone, we're gonna present analyzing music therapy using markup chains and we are conformed by Abhinandan Sharma, Bharat Kari and Gustavo Martinez. This is the content of our presentation. At first we're gonna start by introduction, next your brain in music followed by music platforms and social media, our mood classification, color, psychology, problem, markup chain, markup chain, implementation and calculations, explanation, medical prospects, summary, conclusion, and at the end, references. So as introduction, we have the background material. Um, as per our study, we took some percentage of people that does not feel happy and could be passing through hard times, feeling depressed or even having uncomfortable moments in their lives. The mood of people that are crossing through those stages now to be presented in the social media platforms as comments, emojis, reactions, and more. So how are we going to address this problem? We're going to address this problem by using music therapy. So what is music therapy, right? Music therapy uses music in physical, emotional, mental, social, aesthetics, and spiritual facets to help individuals improve their health in cognitive, motor, emotional, communicative, social, sensory, and edu educational domains by using both active and receptive music experience, which mostly of our um, project is gonna aim to the receptive music experience. And why is this important? This is really important because we can uplift the mood of people, even heal it momentarily and even for longer periods. And um, as we saw in class, we're gonna use Markov chains to solve this type of problem. So in this slide, we can see that studies have shown that listening to music for one hour over a period of seven days increases the feeling of power and decreases the pain, depression, and disability related to chronic back, neck, and or joint pain. And the average person listens to 25 songs per day. One fun fact is that the first music therapy degree program in the world was founded at the Michigan State University in the United States. Uh, in this picture, you can see how the brain acts with music. So listening to music causes the brain to release dopamine, a feel-good chemical. Music also acts as a distractor, focusing the attention away from negative stimuli to something pleasant and encouraging. Music has the ability to alter breathing and heart rate. Music also has the power to improve your state of mind. This helps keep things like depression and anxiety at bay. Music can help reduce the perception of pain. Music alters patterns of pain, depression, and disability. Music occupies the mind with something familiar and soothing. Music with a strong beat can stimulate brain waves. Slow beats encourage the slow brain waves that are associated with hypnotic or meditative states. Faster beats may encourage more alert and concentrated thinking. So the beats can alter it like your concentration or like the activity that you are doing at the time. In this slide, uh, we can see the music platforms and, so and social media that we have nowadays, such as in the right, we have Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, and TikTok. So in those platforms, people tend to put their feelings and their mood by comments, emojis, reactions, and so on. And on the left, we have the uh, music platforms that we use uh, often. For example, we have Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, SoundCloud, and Deezer. So if you think about it, if we somehow connect the, the pla music platforms with the social media, we can change somehow the mood of the persons. So if they have a bad mood, we can convert it towards a better mood.
So how do we are classifying the moods of the of the person? We are classifying them as positives and negatives. So the positives are like amused, blissful, calm, cheerful, content, dreamy, ecstatic, energetic, excited, flirty, giddy, good, happy, joyful, loving, mellow, optimistic, peaceful, silly, and symp sympathetic. And the negative is angry, annoyed, apathetic, bad, cranky, depressed, envious, frustrated, gloomy, grumpy, guilty, indifferent, irritated, melancholy, pessimistic, rejected, restless, sad, stressed, and weird. We know that most of the people nowadays show depression or a bad mood. Um, we have some studies that show that 75% of the people feel that way nowadays. So with that said, we can correlate the bad or the good mood and associate it with one of these um, genres. For example, over here we can see that we have some examples of a Spotify genres. And all of them has a certain pattern of beats. And those ones has a really good correlation with our hearts. So if we have a low beat uh, heart per second, we can uh, therefore feel more concentrated or more calm. And if we have something more like high, uh, we're going to get more motivated and we're going to tend to to do actions. So as you can see, like for example, for the low ones, we can use jazz, we can use pop, we can use kids, we can use soul, and for the uh, high ones we can use party, workout, we can use uh, rock, and so on. Over here you can also see uh, a lot of um, different genres that we can use for those type of, uh, of um, beats. And at the end, we can correlate it with uh, some colors from psychology. So over here you can see eight colors. And from those eight colors, there, there's just three colors that are not that good, which is black because it, it is correlated with evil and unhappiness. We have blue, which is co correlated with calmness and sadness. And we have green, which is correlated with envy. And we want to use a certain quantity of songs um, cor um, correlated to the type of mood that you are having at the time and change those three types of colors to one of the others, which are white, red, yellow, purple, brown, orange, or pink, which we are considering as good. Uh, here we are using Markov chains and in Markov chains the current state only depends on the previous state and not any other state. Also in accordance with the problem we are considering the happy uh, people uh, probability to be 0.25 and also we are using MM1Q that is the prop property of Markov chain and the first M stands for the arrival probability, the second M stands for the service probability and one at the end says the number of servers we are using and here we are using just one application at a time. Uh, so, so here we see that the probability of depressed or sad people is 0.25 and the happy people probability will be the complement of the depressed or sad people that is 0.75. The serving probability is 0.5 as a person may feel good or bad after listening to a song that is one half, so it's 0.5. Also, in the implementation, we considered a um, percentage of 25% uh, people who were feeling bad initially and then after listening to at least three or more songs, they feel good. So we here see that the number got reduced from 25% to 11% and there exists only 11% of people who feel bad after listening to at least three songs. And to feel better, they need to listen to more songs.
Markov chain implementation and calculations, we calculate more and uh, more parameters and we hence we get steady state distribution vector that lists the probabilities in each state. And since we are using the MM1Q, so the efficiency is always one. So why Marco chain is the best way to render music therapy? So for Marco chain to work, we need three parameters, which are arriving probability, serving probability, and the process should be a random process. So people opening music applications to listen to songs can be taken as arriving probability, and these music app serving the music to the customers can be taken as serving probability, which is a random Markovian process. Here, the current state of mood a person listening a song depends upon the current song and immediate previous song. So, what are the applications and future prospects of this implementation? Back in our project, we used music to make depressed people feel better. This can be extended to use real healing frequencies or sounds to treat various ailments. This can be used in hospitals, cancer centers, schools, alcohol and drug recovery programs, psychiatric hospitals, and recreation facilities. It also helps in stress relief before and after neurosurgeries such as Alzheimer's. It has proven to show improved heart rate, reduced anxiety, stimulation of brain, and improved learning. Not only these, but there are many other uses of this implementation in health and wellness industry. It also helps people suffering with autism, heart disease, stroke, dementia, and aphasia. To conclude, as we analyzed people's mood with music therapy, we found that percentage of people who are feeling depressed decreased from 25% to 11%, which is more than half just after listening to three songs. Moreover, Marco Chains provides a proper spread of information and analyzing music therapy because the current state always depends upon the previous states but not other states. As a matter of fact, music also helps in diminishing bad mood, improving health, increasing motivation, productivity, and multitasking ability of the brain. As for the references, we served the internet for music therapy on how music makes people feel better and how we can connect Marco chains to this random process.